Can humans be immortal? The reply is no. Can we live after passing? No. Numerous people have dug for the secret of living always for centuries, but it seems like we've been bettered to it by the creature to an extent at least. Today we'll be talking about top 10 animals that can live after death. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and let's get started. Number 10. Cockroaches. Cockroaches are well known for their tenacity and are frequently believed as the most likely animal that will survive a nuclear war. They can live without their heads, in fact, they can go on living for two weeks without their heads. First of all the cockroaches don't bleed a lot like a mortal when we cut off their heads. They've an open circulatory system which translates to little to no blood pressure so if their head pops off the crack discloses naturally due to clotting. Secondly, cockroaches don't need their heads to breathe as they do this process through little holes located on their bodies called spiracles. Although a headless cockroach will die of starvation ultimately it's going to take them weeks for them to do so. Number 9. Bees. There's a good reason why they appear on this list because indeed though a bee might be dead it can still soak you, not in the way that you suppose, dead bees obviously can't go flying around and laboriously sting you. The thing is their sting and more importantly, the venom delivery system will still work indeed if the bee is long dead. When a bee stings the sting detaches from its body leaving it rooted into the skin of its victim attached to this thing is a tiny organ that both contains the freak venom and an atomic muscle that pumps the venom out. Bees conduct aren't controlled by the bee's brain but rather by involuntary impulses so it's not safe to pick up a dead freak. Number 8. Chickens. Chickens can run around with their heads cut off, yes, and there's a actually simple reason for this. The reason is mortal error this error happens to be a butcher's error. The chicken's central nervous system is veritably different from humans some introductory fleshly functions are controlled not by the brain itself but by certain region of the brainstem. So when the butcher chops the chicken's head too high up most of the time it's just the forebrain of the chicken that comes off with its head leaving the brainstem and the cerebellum relatively complete. Number 7. Octopus. An octopus after being diced up continues to move, the reason octopus's arms maintain mobility indeed after being diced off is relatively fascinating it's because their central nervous system is relatively unique. Utmost of an octopus's nerve cells two out of three of them can be set up in its tentacles. And these arms can continue replying to stimulants indeed if they're no longer connected to the main brain in fact they remain responsive indeed after the octopus has been long dead. These movements can be up for a week after the octopus's death also. Number 6. Salamanders. Salamander has always been synonymous with long life and eternity. Salamanders have the uncanny capability to regenerate any part of their body that has been diced off. These regrown region actually serve the same as or in some cases indeed better than the original zone this is substantially because of a special protein set up in salamanders which facilitates the replication of cells this protein can also be set up in humans but in lower amounts. Give this video a huge thumbs up if you are enjoying it and subscribe to our channel for more. Number 5. Frogs. It has been discovered that frogs continue to move around indeed when their brain is dead. However, a headed but brainless frog actually behaves veritably also to a frog with its green matter flawlessly complete, if you leave the frog's head complete but take out its brain. However, put it in water it'll swim to the side and climb out and the most amazing of all it ll indeed croak hardly if you stroke its back, if you pinch its bases it'll hop away. The factor that results in frog zombie such like tendencies is the power of the action response which fires the necessary electrical impulses that bring about a muscle to expand or contract. Number 4. Flies. Flies can survive bone chilling temperatures and go into suspended jazziness. You can indurate them for days after giving them some toast they will be back as normal. Also, feminine flies will live for several days after they've been decapitated similar beheading ladies assume an upright station similar to that of a normal cover and can do and engage in complex conduct similar as preening and flying. Number 3. Turtles. The hearts of fish, reptiles, birds, and mammals likewise have their own pacemaker cells that take over when the signals from the brainstem aren't coming through. For some reason, it ensures that the heart still functions for a while indeed when the brain does not. 
but the turtle took it to a whole new position and this is because their heart is cut off from the oxygen and nutrients, generally supplied by the blood is just veritably normal. Because these creatures can die for a veritably long time, for 5000 hours in the case of the loggerhead musk turtle. They can survive that lengthy by oxygen they can grasp up from the water via their exterior, throat, and butt ending. As well as their body's amazing eventuality for producing energy without oxygen, their hearts have their own energy store and they just won't give up until every last filler up of that has been used up. Number 2. Snakes. Snakes can still kill you with their head diced off, the snake's head has its fangs and deadly bane sacs still have the capability to stink you and deliver deadly venom indeed if it's no longer attached to the rest of its body. The snake has heat-sensitive recesses at either side of its face which it uses to discover pitfalls now these heat-sensitive recesses are able of detecting a threatening presence for hours after death. This means the snake's head will continue to defend itself and can stink you if you get close to it or try to pick up allowing it's dead. Number 1. Flatworms Flatworms or planarians are known as masters of rebirth, they can rebuild any part of their bodies after amputation. If one is cut in half the head portion grows a tail and the tail portion grows a head. Cut it into 20 pieces and 20 new worms each an exact dupe of the first are created. This has been exploited by Nottingham University scientists who have created a colony of further than 20,000 worms. The shocking thing is they re all from one original whose bodies and organs don't appear to age. They're confident a single worm that didn't divide would live ever unless it catches an infection or another illness. So they're principally immortal beings living with us. That's all for today leave a like you enjoyed today's video. Comment your thoughts in the comments. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and turn on the bell notification to stay updated with our latest videos.